And the thing I always want, I always try to remember was to be respectful of kids and of my colleagues. You know, I have three children of my own and I always try to treat my students the way I would want my children to be treated in the classroom. And that didn't always happen for my kids, um, but I wanted to make sure that it happened for other people's. And that's when I first started teaching, it was, I started at North High and I was a, a sub, a long-term sub. Mm -hmm. And I remember somebody saying to me after a, um, a student had misbehaved or I can't even remember what it was. That's how insignificant it was. But um, the teacher in the classroom next to me said, I want you to remember something. When you go home tonight, just put this out of your head. And when you come back tomorrow, forget it ever happened because they're kids. Mm -hmm. Kids are going to screw up and you can't go around holding grudges against kids. You just mm -hmm. can't. And that's probably the best advice anybody ever gave me because mm -hmm. it's, it, I think it's so easy for people to take things personally when there could be like so much extraneous stuff going on, especially um, in an yeah. urban school system where there's a million of million issues that could be creating chaos in a child's life. And mm -hmm. you have to be the safe space for those kids. And I, I think that that is the absolute best blessing of the profession. It, and, and I don't think of it as a profession. I think of it for people that do it well, a calling. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, and I know that sounds sappy. And if I saw myself saying this, I'd probably be making fun of me, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I loved you guys so much. Yeah. And I still, I'm, I'm, I'm still so friendly with so many of the kids. Like I got like six wedding invitations. I just got another one in the mail and my husband's like, tell them you're not going. And I was like, oh, but I can't. He was so cute. <laughs> you know, it's just, you know, that's giving back to me. That's, a, that's mm -hmm. an honor to me that you remember me after all this time. Oh, I, I, I talk about you all the time. And I, I, I really feel like, even though it's so weird, I, I, I never had any interest in being a teacher and I, to find myself there. And um, for me to like think back on all the teachers that impacted me in terms of like how I treated kids and the respect thing you just mentioned was huge because I always kept that inside myself and, you know, being an in-school suspension teacher, being a, a history teacher, being a TV production teacher, you know, all the favorite, all the teaching positions were that all my favorite teachers had. And uh, <laughs> even though I didn't have the, the experience, uh, like other teachers, the academic experience, and I kind of really learned uh, on the job, um, I took a lot of what you guys gave as teachers and, and, I see it in the my former students. I still have deep relation with with all these students. They still hit me up, and I got the same phone number, and still message me and invite me to weddings as well. So you know, a lot of that comes from 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 teachers like yourself. And I, I like I said, you in my heart, and I I thank you for everything that you've done for me and other students that went to the south because it is a very special place. So thank you. Thank you oh. for, for allowing me to just interview and talk about it a little bit. Oh, thank you. And I, I just want to tell you one thing that, and I always try to keep it humble. Mm -hmm. And when I was at South, I remember I broke up a fight between two young ladies. Actually, it was more of an attack than a fight. One the one person wasn't fighting back. Mm -hmm. And so I moved on, she moved on, we went, well, when I was teaching at Worcester State, I, I taught um, people that are trained to be principals and who comes into the class, but the person who was the aggressor in the fight. Wow. 
And I remember saying to myself, why does she think she can be an administrator? She's, you know, just thinking of her back then. Mm -hmm. And she was over the course of the, the class. She was so impressive with her insights and her thoughts that I took her aside at the end of one class. And I said, listen, I'm going to tell you this story. And so I told her and she was like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. And I said, but I'm here to tell you that I misjudged you completely. You have come so far. And I think because mm -hmm. of the things you went through, you're going to be a great administrator. Yeah. And, you know, to, you have to remember to, to acknowledge where people have come from. And, and she's, she's a very special young lady. I know you know her, but um, she's, she's something else. And yeah. I'm so grateful that I got to see the whole transformation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Awesome. That's a great story, too. Yeah. So, yeah, Miss E, again, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Uh, thank everybody who watched this. But uh, I love you, and I hope to see you when you come back to Worcester. Got to grab lunch or something. When you got time. I know you're busy. <laughs> I'm never too busy for you. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Miss Erisi. I love you. Be I good. love you, too.